Welcome back to the Prisma 3D 3.0 tutorial. In this part, I'll show you how to use the Material option in Prisma 3D. To find it, simply click on any object. Then, look down below. You'll see the Material settings. Quick tip. When you import a model or object, it's automatically grouped. For example, like the one on the screen right now. If you click it once, you're only selecting the group. Click it again. Now you've selected the actual object inside. To avoid double-clicking every time, you can take the object out of the group and delete the group. But keep in mind, grouping has an advantage. When you're in animation mode, you can't edit the object's shape unless it's in a group. So for modeling, the object must be grouped. Now, let's go into the Material options. Click Material, and you'll see more options like Color, Texture, Reflection, Transparency, Normals, and Cull. Let's start with Color. Click on it to add a color to your model. There's a wide range to choose from, and you can use the arrow buttons for more. You can also click the plus plus button to add a new material. Next is Texture. Click the Texture option, then use the plus plus button to upload a texture from your device. Use the minus button to remove a texture you don't want. Then we have Reflection. Here, you'll find various reflection styles. You can adjust them manually and use the arrow button to explore more. Reflection affects how light reacts to your model surface. Now on to normals. Normals are super important. They define how lighting appears on your model. They tell Prisma 3D how light should bounce off the surface. I'll go deeper into this in a later tutorial. There's also another reflection setting here. It works similarly, but this one uses the material texture for reflections. And one more tip. There's a toggle switch below. Keep that off if you want your lighting to be more detailed. Finally, we have the Cull tool. Click the Cull tool and you'll see Inside and Auto. Click Inside to see the inner parts of your model. Click Auto to return to the outer view. And that's it for this beginner-friendly part of the tutorial. In the next video, I'll talk about lighting and how to make your scenes look even better. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.